This story I'm about to tell you took place in the 10th grade. Around the time of the last story that I told you about, the time I ditched classes and got an ass whooping for it, that story will be linked in the description in case you want to see what really went on in that story. Now, I'm assuming you who's watching this has either been through high school or is in high school right now, so you come across substances and not just any substances i'm talking about the green kind that herb that hash the brown if you know what i'm saying you know what i'm saying but if you don't you're on your own my g and depending on the type of person you are it's either you did it in high school or you're way too functional for such behavior i mean it just wasn't meant for you right totally get it but on the other hand i'ma share my own experience with that green that hash that mary jane that kush if you catch my drift now originally i got introduced to magic in the 10th grade right the beginning of that 10th grade i remember my first time like it was yesterday that would be a story for another day honestly speaking it's funny in on its own let's just say at the point of this story i was fully acquainted with the magic i was fully confident that i could take any amount and i was getting kind of cocky i was used to it and since i felt like i was so used to it i felt confident enough to be able to do it at school between classes my g and sure poor display of judgment i know i mean who smokes weed in school <laughs> i guess it was us so me and my boy decided to go during break time towards this big tree which is behind the school right and then he pulled out this big blunt just the size of this blunt was scary to my eyes it made me feel the way a child would feel when a doctor was pulling out a big syringe and about to inject him but it was through my own judgment. I wanted to hit this blunt. So my bro over here lights up the blunt, right? And everything is lack of my G. All the paranoia about our environment was slowly starting to fade away. We even forgot that we were in school. And boy, were we hitting this blunt. We hid it for about 10 minutes and then decided to go back to our classes. Now, as I mentioned earlier in this video, I was new in this whole blunting thing. I didn't know how to behave when you're high, how to suppress the high, or even how to show people that you're not high. But on the other hand, the people who I was blunting with were experienced magic users, which means they would go out, go sit in class, and nobody would notice anything and they just left me there all by myself and so out of panic i'm there thinking to myself how am i gonna get through this okay okay i can do this i can do this i can get through this just walk one foot after another and slowly i started believing it was working there i was i was walking to class okay keeping a straight face while everybody was out eating for break right and then i came in class sat down and then started waiting for the next period after what felt like five to six hours the bell finally rang and it was supposed to be the next period everybody starts coming to settle down in class right and then i look towards the door and i'm thinking to myself oh crap it's chemistry, chemistry next, next. Mr. Mr. Shad is teaching us. Now, for the uninitiated, Mr. Shad was one of the most ruthless teachers in school. I mean, we all have that one teacher, right? That one teacher who we look back to in high school and be like, What is wrong with you, my G? Are you suffering depression, my G? Do you need some therapy, my G? Did your parents die, my G? Do you need some Vatra? my g just a total bummer like he does not know what fun is he is a terrible teacher in general like his parents took him forced him to go to college finished him through teaching school put him in the school and said you ain't allowed to be no doctor mother f teach something like that right so mr shad finally walks in stands in front of the class and oh my god to my surprise it was a pop quiz and of course it's already been established at this point that i wasn't in the position to write a chemistry test because i was high as fudge but that did not matter bro mr shad was a no-nonsense teacher it's either you write his test or you write his test nigga like that's it you only have two options write his test or write his test or 
die. die. So I really had no choice. Mr. Shad begins handing out the test leaflets, right? He gives them to the first person, second person, third person. Before I know it, he's now giving me the paper. He finishes giving the whole class, goes in front and then says, you may begin the test. Everybody ruthlessly starts writing on their pieces of paper, man. And I'm there looking at my paper thinking, okay, okay, I can do this. All right, so first question. What is an isotope? Wonder. An isotope. Um, an isotope. Uh, man, it's the Mickey Mouse Clubhouse. Come inside. Oh, oh man, 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 man. Um, ah, damn it. Um, the um, an isotope is um um. Just as I'm thinking to myself what to write on the piece of paper, I then realize that I have been mumbling out loud for the past two minutes. Mr. Shad then approaches me and sees what I've written so far and he noticed that all the people in the class managed to reach up to at least number 10 but I was still at number 2. I was So are you a foolish boy? What have you been doing all this time? Your friends have been writing and you, you've just been here looking at the paper. What have you been doing all this time? Stand up, stand up from your funny bums. Go and sit at the funny corner of the room first. Get up, you funny boy. You boy, I'm talking to you. I was literally getting scolded, man. But did I understand? No, I was just blank. He was just there talking gibberish. I looked at him and started thinking to myself, what, what is wrong with this man? Why can't he just leave me alone? Like, bro, bro, why can't you like, no, no, man. Why can't you just go eat like some, some jiggies or something? Like, I'm not in the mood for this, man. I'm not in the mood for this. Please go take your shenanigans somewhere else, man. Oh, shit. Does this nigga got a booger in his nose? Oh, that's why this dude look like EDP. He look like a serial rapist for animals. <laughs> And that bold spot though, it looks like an airplane was trying to land but it missed and then you just... <laughs> <laughs> and I cap you know, I just started blatantly laughing right there at the spot in his face. I was roasting him in my head and then I just started laughing profusely and he got pissed told me to stop laughing and to go and finish the test while seated on the floor in the back of the class. And me being high as a kite, didn't see this as much of a challenge, I mean, he just wants me to sit on the floor at the back of the class, easy bro. So what I did next was I took the same paper that he gave me to write on, went with it to the back of the class, put it on the floor where I was supposed to sit and then I sat on the paper that he intended me to write as a quiz. I just sat on it man thinking everything is normal and I started staring at the board but through my peripheral vision to my side Mr. Shad was looking at me with confusion, anger and rage all at the same time. It was a whole bomb my G. And only as the train wreck continues he calls out my name and I stand up in a hurry. He tells me to stop writing that test to wait outside for him so he can call my dad. And the story only gets slippery from from this point. About 10 minutes later, we are at Mr. Shad's office. He sits down and I'm sitting opposite from him. And then now he starts the interrogation. By the end of dawn, my dad knew everything. And you can guess what happened next from this point as I might be putting out part two next time.